So India is a very old space power. Uh, the Indian Space Research Organization was established in 1969. But interestingly, uh, India in the beginning, till about 2019, was much more interested in developing traditional goals, for example, launch independent launch capacity. So India does have the capability to launch independently to space and also very cheaply. And that's something that the Indian Space Research Organization sells as its unique capability. India has been able to send an orbiter to the moon. Uh, India has launched to low Earth orbit several satellites. But uh, interestingly, India is now starting to develop plans to actually send humans to low Earth orbit by 2022. India has plans to send a second Mars orbiter and a lander by 2030. India succeeded in getting to Mars orbit uh, in 2014. And so uh, India's space program is starting to very clearly articulate ambitions very uh, unique to great space powers. Now, what is interesting from an Indian perspective is that within India, there is also this growing conversation that space is not just about prestige, reputation, ideological attractiveness that we saw during the Cold War, but space actually has economic benefits. Now, this is something that China has very clearly articulated that for China to invest in space, it's about the economic return of investment in the trillions of dollars, for example. For example, just from a lunar program. India is also starting to develop very similar ambitions. India is investing in a, a heavy lift rocket with the capability to launch to low Earth orbit and beyond. And India is also starting to uh, articulate plans to develop reusability. So India's space program is getting mature. And since 2019, there has been a shift as well. So India has always been very shy of uh, utilizing space for military power projection, has always insisted that its space program is for civilian capability, uh, for helping humanity, including citizens of India, to forecast weather, tornadoes, uh, help agriculture in determining fishing areas on the oceans. But in 2019, India actually tested an anti-satellite weapon for the first time and killed one of its own satellites, demonstrating a capability for counter space weapon. And when that happened, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi tweeted that India has become a space power today. So you can see that India's space program is starting to also have military implications. 